What's up, everybody? This is the Act Man here, and today I'm going to fry your brain with even more terrible gaming hot takes. So come on down to the barbecue. -er. Oh, shit! Given the immense popularity of the GTA series and its controversial nature, there's always a lot of hoopla surrounding a new Grand Theft Auto. It took 75 years and countless billions of dollars to train our soldiers to kill. Today, 60 bucks buys your kid the same thing. Whatever happened to Pong? Luckily, the reveal of GTA 6 was no exception. Every gremlin and ghoul, every ghost and goblin came out of their dungeons to give their take on it. Now, before we dive into some of the controversies surrounding GTA 6, I wanted to check back in on the console fanboys and see how the console war is going. I'd rather smoke meth than play Xbox. Oh wait, I already do. God! Jesse Pinkman has entered the chat. This is the only time you can use this meme in a literal sense. Now, most people, myself included, would have naturally written this post off as bait in obvious troll, except that he posted a picture of himself smoking meth. I'm not gonna show it for monetization reasons, but I ran this through a reverse image search. This is legit. <laughs> we always make jokes like, wow, that's crazy. That thing you just said, what are you high on crack? Methamphetamines? This guy is, he is. Now how about them Xbox fanboys? What are they up to? Hashtag justice for Starfield. Hashtag fuck the game awards. Hashtag Xbox. Hashtag Starfield. Ooh, this is getting good. They want you to believe this. Is better than this. Don't watch the game awards. Console fanboyism is a serious and growing epidemic. It is known to cause scarlet brain rot. Scientists are hard at work searching for a cure, but as of this moment, sadly, none exists. Look, man, there's nothing wrong with liking Starfield. I have some very critical opinions on the game. However, there's some things I really enjoyed about it. But why? Why would you pick the most boring fucking clip possible to try and make your case? You made the game look worse than it actually is. Also, why pick Mario Wonder as, as your target? Are you trying to say something like, oh, Starfield's for mature, badass, hardcore gamers and Mario's, that's just kitty stuff. Is that the implication? Also, one of the quote retweets said, you know, you could have asked for permission before taking my footage for this terrible video. <laughs> Instead of posting cringe on main, you could have said something like, you know, I like Starfield and I don't have to prove anything to the people that disagree with me, right? 12 seconds later. Is it so difficult to just shut the motherfucking hell up about a game that was never meant for you in the first place? Starfield is for Xbox fans! Fuck off! It's only a game. Why you have to be mad? My brother in Stendar, Todd Howard, has spent the last 12 years trying to sell Skyrim to everyone, and he has succeeded. 60 million copies in the seventh best-selling game of all time. Of course he made Starfield to appeal to as many people as possible. What are you fucking stupid? <laughs> Imagine trying to gatekeep something so widely accepted as a Bethesda RPG, especially from someone who's a clear fan of Bethesda RPGs. This is a great video, by the way, by Nakey Jakey. It feels like this person's sense of identity and worth is directly tied to this thing that they enjoy, and they personally take offense when other people don't feel the same way. This is an extremely unhealthy mindset to have. By the way, when are all you fucking bastards gonna stop saying mean things about 50 Cent Bulletproof, okay? Fuck off, that game wasn't made for you. I'll be in touch if you hear anything. And by the way, you're out of orange juice. Yeah, yeah. Have some self-respect for yourself, guys. Do not be a console fanboy. Trust me. Oh, here's a spicy take. This is disturbing. Young men prefer playing video games over casual sex. This is indeed a disturbing universe. Holy based, Batman. What a study. Men are getting smarter. Men are finally realizing that starting your third playthrough on Red Dead Redemption 2 will be a much more fulfilling experience than hooking up with some chick you never want to see, talk to, interact with, or hear from ever again. Hey, Jessica, um, I know this is a little late, but I'm gonna have to cancel on tonight. Family emergency, something really important just came up and I cannot put it off. I gotta 
take care of it right now. I mean, this isn't really a hot take, but it is kind of funny. Like everything in life, including video games, casual sex is something to balance. Sometimes it can be good fun, and sometimes it is a complete waste of time. It's kind of like chasing a high rank in League of Legends. I can make this joke. I was in the top 1.4% of North American players at one point. I was getting zero pussy. All right, so this next one is... Do you smell it? That smell. The kind of smelly smell. The smelly smell that smells... Smelly. This is what good parenting looks like. The dad, not the mom. All right, Chief, time for homework. One more level. You got a book report, buddy. I'll do it later. Classic book report. I don't know if schools still do this, but nothing was more procrastinated than the mandatory summer book report. It's late. Mom said I could stay up. Hmm, I should probably speak to my wife about this so that we appear to be on the same page and do not argue in front of our child, leading them to speculate on which of us he should listen to. Hey! Turn it off. I can't see. Turn it off. Mom, tell your husband to move. Oh, 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 see, see, this kid's such a dick. He's such a dick. He deserves what's coming to him. Just let him finish, honey. Hmm. Nah, fuck this kid. Vance! What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Vance, this is your moment. Everyone in the room thinks you're a total badass. Oh, my penis is so big. So big. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, look at how fucking cool I am. Yo, oh, I just made a statement. Book report. Now! Oh my god, I married a complete fucking psycho. I'm gonna have to go through another divorce. Okay, so for those in the back that did not get the memo, good parenting is as follows. If your child does not listen to you, destroy something they love in front of them. If you think this is good parenting, might I recommend a life of celibacy? Perhaps a vasectomy? Stip stop, stip stop, stip stop! No way would this type of behavior ever create some type of long-standing resentment. You ever wonder why your child always had sleepovers at every other kid's house and not yours? Yeah, you are the reason why. Look, we have to acknowledge what this is, rage bait. And yes, I am falling for it. There are people that think this is genuinely what a strong, dominant male father figure is like. No, this is the house that none of your friends want to go to. But, you know, if the father did the right thing and simply took the power cord, well, this clip wouldn't have gone viral. The director's sitting behind the scenes like, no, 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 we gotta ham this up with drama. Rip that fucking console out of the wall. Make a big ass scene. Throw it in the trash can. Pour milk on it. Why stop there? Get out the gasoline from the lawnmower. Pour that shit in there. Set it ablaze. Watch the house burn down with your child in it. Just to show him not to wait to do his fucking book report. That's what a, that's what a real dominant father would do. Now, I've been teasing you long enough. It's time to get into the juicy stuff. You know society is in its final stages when a new GTA game comes out and people aren't saying the dumbest shit ever about it. It's tradition. In Grand Theft Auto, your son or your husband or your boyfriend or whoever can hire a prostitute, have sex with her, and then beat her to death with a baseball bat. When a police officer comes after him, he can either let light that police officer on fire or cut him in half with a chainsaw. This is entertainment? Yes! This series always seems to ignite a debate around morality and should video games include X type of conversations. Now, of course, there's the low hanging fruit. Why are the Zionists at Rockstar Games releasing this sexualized video game for children in America? Get banned GTA 6 trending right now! Okay, so I did a little research on this guy, Jackson Hinkle, and apparently his claim to fame is spreading misinformation on social media. His Wikipedia page has six paragraphs about it. Yep, there it is. This user is known for spreading misinformation to boost engagements and interactions. Twitter is so scuffed. How does made up bullshit and blatant lies like this get 20,000 likes? Rockstar Games does not stand with Palestine. Get banned GTA 6 trending. GTA 6 is Haram Zionist propaganda. This guy is making the Community Notes team work overtime. Isn't it kind of crazy though, that you have people grifting GTA 6 by just like making up bullshit lies. And then you look at Jack Thompson and he had better rhetoric than this guy. Isn't that insane? Jack Thompson was a nutcase. He wanted GTA banned because of the violence. Now, 
People want it banned just to get engagement on Twitter. <laughs> in a response to a tweet about one user not playing any GTA games, the owner of Twitter, sorry, X, X, Elon Musk said, tried, but didn't like doing crime. GTA 5 required <laughs> shooting police officers. <laughs> just couldn't do it. There you are, robbing a bank in your crime-based video game, and all of a sudden, you're a cop killer. You didn't ask for this. You didn't choose this. Yet there it is. Elon, I know exactly how you feel, man. I tried playing Counter-Strike, right? But in my first match, I got put on the side of the terrorist. Just couldn't do it. I just couldn't plant that bomb. And you know what else? Tried Red Dead 2, but I didn't like doing crime. Game required me to rob a train in chapter two. I just couldn't do it. I'm sorry, John. Elon Musk, when he boots up Jet Set Radio Future and has to spray graffiti on the walls. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Who the fuck buys a Grand Theft Auto game and thinks, I sure hope I don't have to shoot any, any pixels that when combined resemble law enforcement. But don't worry, Elon. Captain Brown Nose is here to back you up. I'm glad shooting cops in Cyberpunk 2077 is completely optional. Never finished GTA 5 either. OBJECTION! Ian Miles Chong has written up to 255 Game Ranks articles covering GTA 5, including descriptions of personally killing or evading virtual police in the game's single player. But here's my favorite response to these tweets. The blue whale's vagina is now the second biggest pussy in the world behind you three. <laughs> You know, I'm getting pretty tired of video games being used as a chess piece in the culture wars by grifters like this. But this is the way things always have been and always will be. This is entertainment? Back in 2020, Rockstar Games actually had a cops and robbers mode planned for GTA 5. But something else happened in 2020 and they shelved it for understandable reasons. Probably not the best time to release a mode like that. But it's been three years, man, and there's still this dumb stigma around portraying cops and law enforcement in video games. If you can be a cop, oh, that's a problem. If you could shoot a cop, that's a problem too. If you can equip a police-themed nameplate, that's a problem. You get it all out, remove it all. Oh boy, here we go. Andrew and Tristan Tate are against GTA 6's violent themes. New GTA 6 is out. Have you ever played any GTA? This is a genuine question. I've never played any of them. I believe that I played the first one. That's like a top down bird's eye view kind of 2D game without any real graphic violence back when I was maybe 10 or 11. Okay, so one of you has never played this series and the other hasn't played it since it was a completely different genre. Now, now let's hear what these well-informed men, experienced GTA players have to say about the series. Video games aren't necessarily evil. Do you know, my brother once told me that nothing someone says before the word but really counts. But you know, I remember when video games, cause I'm very old. I remember when you used to play a little man in a red hat trying to rescue a princess and teaming up with your brother. Remember, remember when Mario was the thing? Remember, remember that guys? My God, man, it's like you broke out of a time capsule from 30 years ago. You're old. Now, if rescuing purity from evil while teaming up for your brother isn't a good theme of a video game, then I don't really know what is. I'm not a fan of anyone under the age of 18, 21 maybe, playing video games where the goal is to shoot police officers. This is entertainment? All these guys' heads would explode if you showed them Modern Warfare 2's campaign. This is the same stupid argument that's been debunked countless times over the last 20, 30 years. I never thought in my wildest dreams that Andrew and Tristan Tate would start sharing the same talking points as Hillary Clinton and Jack Thompson. What else did the Goober brothers have to say? GTA 6. Okay. Which looks like a fun game. Yeah, it looks like a fun game. Do you know why it's fun? Because you can make a bunch of money and go around and do what you want and drive fast cars. Have a bunch of girls, but then you get to be big and strong, get to be a boss. It's true. You can do that in GTA 6, yeah. Tristan, don't you understand that our life is actually GTA 6? 
So you're saying that we get to wake up and instead of looking at our GTA 6 garage of 12 to 13 cars that you've accumulated that are digital, that aren't real, we can look at our garage of 50 something cars, which are real. We can drive them in real life to any city we want in the world. And I love how Tristan is like, I'm not a fan of games that let you shoot cops. I think that's bad for society. Meanwhile, me and my brother, we live GTA in the real world every single day. Yeah. Are you high right now? What? My guy, you can't have both. You can't say people who play GTA 6 are losers and then try to say, we live this life every single day. You should you should follow what we say because we're as cool as the people in the GTA game that you play. Your children and grandchildren won't care about your video game accomplishments. <laughs> yeah. Let, let's see what the two time thinks about that statement. If you're going to dedicate time on a computer console to try and build up digital cards and digital fake money, in a digital fake world. Why not spend the same time on a computer console building up real cars and real money in the real world? I don't understand. Look at you, partner. You're pathetic. There you are buying virtual horses in Red Dead 2. When you could be buying real horses in the real world, you could be building a real stable. You could be shoveling manure in the real world instead of living out your fantasy in one of them fancy schmancy video games. Two billion dollars, 10 years of development, it's all on the screen, folks. This guy says, what's the problem? This looks good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, just check the replies. It appears they don't allow people of color in this community. I just checked the replies. And yes, there is a clan meeting down there. Like I said, almost everyone bitching about GTA 6 right now is doing it for some kind of grift. But using the power of racism to grift impressions and engagement? It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. It's all so tiresome. At this point, I'm not sure what to be more worried about. The fact that you made a collage of every black person in the trailer, you actually took time out of your day to do that, or the insinuation that seeing black people in video games is tiresome. My boy Commander Carl asked the question on everyone's mind. Seeing black people in a video game is tiresome for you? Do I dare check the replies? One of my favorite tweets out of all of this. What the fuck is up with the extreme unchecked racism on this app? <laughs> it's just so blatant. They're just, they're just flat out saying, yeah, we don't like black people in video games. What? Are you, are you out of your mind? Oh God, can you imagine how tiresome it would be if there was a GTA game, let alone two, where you actually played as a black guy? Oh my God, that would just, oh. It would be so exhausting. On the real though, can you imagine what people would be saying on Twitter if San Andreas released today? GTA 6 looks like modern day America. I thought people played video games to escape reality. How do we tell him? No, no, it can't be. Wait a minute. Grand Theft Auto is a parody of America? Always has been. We've had video games for like over 40 years and there's people that still don't get it. They still don't understand that video games can be an escape from reality and an extension of it. The truth is a lot of the people who detract from these games and are their most outspoken critics don't actually play them and certainly aren't the target market. They don't seem to play up the fact or understand that it's humorous, that this is a fictionalized take on reality that's the same sort of thing that you would see in a movie like Scarface or Carlito's Way, classic mobster films like Heat or even The Godfather. You don't hear people talking about how terrible The Godfather is and it's no different in terms of the bloodshed and level of violence. Whoa, it's kind of like movies or documentaries, uh, pretty much every single type of media on the planet. Good God. Also, shouldn't this be a compliment that the place GTA 6 is based on, Miami, looks like the place it's based on with accurate demographics? Isn't it weird how it used to be Resident Evil 5 is racist because it's set in Africa and there's black zombies. And now it's GTA 6 is woke because it's set in Miami and there's black people. So in a response to this screenshot with all the black people in the GTA 6 trailer, here comes Ian Miles Dong and says, you can shoot all of them. What the fuck is up with the extreme unchecked racism on this app? So let me get this straight. You're willing to write guides on how to kill and evade virtual cops in GTA. 
but but now shooting cops is icky and it crosses the line however you're totally fine with being able to shoot all the black people you want you don't actually believe a goddamn thing dude it's all just a grift gta 6 main character is a trans woman claims fake rumor people make up stuff for rage clicks quite the meta title huh the new rumors circulating after the release of the GTA 6 trailer is that the protagonist is in fact not female, as many people have suspected, but is a woman in that the main character of Grand Theft Auto 6 is trans. Uh, I think this is fun, just absolutely not true. Uh, the rumor comes from basically nowhere. By the way, the rumor he's referencing comes from a Reddit post with zero upvotes. I don't even think that classifies as a rumor. That's, that's a myth. You've upgraded to myth. Despite acknowledging that this rumor is basically nonsense, he's still trying to spin his audience a yarn about how, how it might kind of be woke because you play as, you play as woman. You've got the people complaining that it's a female protagonist. And uh, I, I, I gotta be honest with you. You know, personally, I don't want to play a female character. Uh, it's not, I, I don't know if it really matters, but it's kind of weird in my mind. Like, this lady is going to run up to a random guy in the street and punch him, and he's going to go down? Nah, come on. This is entertainment? Have you, like, bro, have you ever played a fighting game? Chun-Li's thighs would like a word with you. Yo, if your average woman ran up to your average guy and swung a fist at him, it's not going to hurt him. Okay, so you play as this character, you run up and punch a random guy, and then he just clocks you in the face one time, you go down wasted. You lose all your HP instantly, and then you wake up outside the hospital. Also, throughout all these clips of people saying it's woke because you play as a female, uh, they all seem to ignore the obvious Bonnie and Clyde theme that Rockstar has gone for. Like, like they just kind of ignore that Lucia is only one of two playable protagonists and that you can play as a man. I love how Tim in a different clip says this. All I do is I just, I, I, I get the cheat codes. What I love doing, and I think it's GTA 5, is activating super punch and super jump and invincibility. And then I just have the guy run around and punch people and they go boom and they go flying. That's all I care about. I, I never once have ever played GTA in any legitimate way. I always just run around and do random nonsense. He admits that he plays GTA 5 with the most ridiculous cheats turned on that allow him to punch people and send them flying miles away. But the second that a female is able to punch a dude and the dude goes down, that's when his imagination turns off. That's too ridiculous, man. Now we're, now we're getting into woke territory. Right now, the real story is that people want GTA 6 to be woke. Yeah, who, who on earth would do that? Who on earth would want this game to be woke? What sort of content creators would profit most? People really, really want the narrative because the narrative drives clicks. The rumor is that the protagonist is transgender. I love it. I wish it were true and I could, uh, 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 I could run the headline just like they did because it gets a lot of clicks. So let me get this straight. You want the thing that your audience hates to be in the game so you can tell your audience why they should hate it. Because it gets a lot of clicks. Who's that Pokemon? It's Grifter. Grifter. All right, I want to throw this last minute edit in. It's all right if you play GTA with cheats, you don't do the main story, and you just fuck around. That's totally fine. But you can't critique the game on a deeper level if you don't engage with it on a deeper level. Okay? Bathrobe man, out. You see, people like this want to appear like they stand against woke culture invading the media they love. But in truth, Tim is a person who thrives and profits off of woke culture. Because it gets a lot of clicks. Which is why he brazenly admits that he wants Lucia to be trans so he can make videos on why you should be mad about that. This is like, this is like toilet bowl content, man. Now, if you actually wanted to make the argument that GTA 6 and Rockstar is getting woke, there are a couple articles that talk about certain things like them removing some transgender jokes and cleaning up their frat boy culture. That's, that's an argument you should probably be citing instead of this fucking rumor from a Reddit post with zero upvotes. Fans worry GTA 6 will be woke after trailer is released. Well, we'll play just a little bit for you guys of the uh, uh, GTA 6 trailer, and then we'll talk about the game getting woke. Lucia, do you know why you're here? Bad luck, I guess. <laughs> All right, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna say it right away. The game literally starts off with two women of color in prison. There was a girl 
No, that's basically it. And then it just shows you a bunch of shots. <laughs> but there's concerns. What, dude? <laughs> Did you watch 20 seconds of this trailer and it's just like, all right, let's talk about minorities now. <laughs> No, that's basically it. And then it just shows you a bunch of shots. Then it just shows a bunch of shots. Yeah, about the world, about the game that we're all interested in seeing. And, and yet Tim is looking at this like, women, minorities on screen does not compute. A major question is whether or not the upcoming game will be woke, which refers to a heavy focus on political correctness and social justice commentary. Check out this article that he's referencing. Many players are concerned about the recent trend among game developers to include socio-political commentary in their games, which may seem out of place at times. It's Grand Theft Auto. It would be more concerning if there wasn't socio-political commentary in a fucking Rockstar game, yet none of these dingleberries would know that because none of them actually play through the fucking story. I feel like anything they, anytime they remake something, they just are like, and you know what this needs? Some gender queerty and just some more LGBT, like, is this what anyone who plays this game wants? You know, maybe this is me throwing my own hot take in the frying pan, but I want GTA 6 to do what GTA has always done, satirize and parody American culture in all its different forms. Woke culture is part of American culture, and I hope they make fun of it. I hope they also make fun of conservatives who are overly concerned about violence in video games for the seven millionth time. This is entertainment? I want to see everything in GTA 6. I want there to be racist characters like Herbert Moon. And it's all the fault of the Jewish, British, Catholic, homosexual elite and their ideas. You know how satisfying it was to see him die in Undead Nightmare? People have already commented when they found out that the main character is going to be a single mom. They were like, oh boy. I love how he tries to paint single mom as like a controversial descriptor for a character when one of the main characters for Red Dead Redemption is a murderous outlaw avoiding child support. This is, this is why you don't listen to people talk about video games who don't actually play the video games they're talking about. Well, they needed more representation in video games. They, they've just been crying out for it for years. Well, what I don't understand is why these companies do this because they know that's not their target audience. That's not what their you know viewership or usership wants. Rockstar typically does representation and diversity extremely well look at the cast of red dead 2 diversity and representation becomes a huge positive for a game like that because it's written so well and the characters are believable within the setting and time period they offer a different slice of life like just purely from a financial point of view you would think huh my users hate when i do this and they don't buy my game i'm gonna stop doing this maybe they think the game is so good the franchise is so good it's gonna sell no matter what and they want to indoctrinate and give another perspective on life. Like, have you ever thought, hey, 15 year old boy, have you ever thought what it was like to be a, a, a ex convict single mother? <laughs> well, you should. <laughs> <laughs> They're obviously trying to frame this Hispanic single mother ex convict as a negative or as woke, when that's like a really intriguing premise to me. It's not so different from a premise like Red Dead Redemption, right? How does this life of crime affect the child of said protagonist? Yeah, yes, please explore that. Uh, hey, anybody ever watch The Sopranos or fucking Breaking Bad? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's about all the steaming hot takes I can take for one day. I'm going to go pour acid on my face so I never have to look at Twitter again. But thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did and subscribe to the act man for more awesome content. Don't forget to check out better help in the description and pinned comment. All right, everyone. That's all I got for today. This is the act man signing out. Peace.